Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to do our first sowing of seeds for this season. And I'm going to sow two types of columbine. One blue star and uh, William Guinness. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so anyway, I've got my Jiffy uh, seed starting tray here. I'm not putting these in um, the little pellets. I'm going to, uh, i got some damp seed starting soil. And I'm going to fill this tray up with and disperse the seeds. I uh, got a Jiffy uh, humidity dome for the top. And of course we got the light, the grow lights in the bedroom. So I'm going to get at it and start sowing the first seeds of 2023. So what I like to do when I'm starting my seeds, and I know I'm going to be starting quite a few, um, I grab the bag of seed starting mix and I just start putting hot water from the sink um, directly into the bag. That way it's um, contained and um, fill the tray up. Now I got my seed starting mix damp, but it's not... Um, yeah, it's not um, ringing water. So you don't want, if it's ringing water, it's too damp. And this is just a little bit on the damp side, but it'll be fine. So, get my tray filled up here. All right, friends, so we're starting with the Columbine Blue Star. It doesn't feel like there's too many seeds in here, so. All right, so here are the seeds. I don't lose them. I sow them sporadically on this end of the tray. So there's liter literally like 20 seeds in this packet. So I don't know if that's a good deal or not. $1.99 for 20 seeds. All right. So on the other side, I'm going to sow the William Guinness. Y'all know how much I love purple in the garden. So one of my favorite colors. Looks like there's a little bit more in this one. So, little black tiny seeds. Alright, I'm going to put... Let's see, how much soil does it say? Excuse my arm there. It says to plant these a depth of a quarter inch. So I'm not going to put a whole bunch of... Well, I'm not going to plant these too deeply. I am watching Gardening with Creekside. You might hear that in the background. Alright guys, there it is. The first tray of seeds for 2023. Columbine. Okay, I got my spray bottle here. I'm going to mist over the top of these seeds. Alright y'all, I'm going to put on the, well it's not wanting to fit properly, but I can put some tape on it. 
Um, got the dome on there. Now I'll leave the dome on for... Sorry, I got you guys on this tripod and I don't want to lower. But anyway, um, I'll keep this dome on until they get so tall and then I will take it off. But for right now, under the grow light it goes. Alright friends, the next thing I want to start today is some um, ornamental grass. This is blue fescue. Kind of that blue silvery color. Um, I'm going to start out with just doing one. Um, this is a nine pack tray here. And I'm not sure how the germination is on these seeds, so uh, I'm going to put a few seeds in each cell. That's what the seeds look like. Make some holes here real quick. And I'm going to put about three seeds in each hole. Some of them might have four. But like I said, I don't know how good this is going to germinate. And it looks like I'm going to have plenty left to do another tray. So I'm going to get that filled up real quick. Of course, my hands are wet and they're sticking. <laughs> sticking. All right, friends, I'm going to get this um, covered with soil. Let's see, um, the same amount as the coleus, so a fourth of the inch deep. Um, says 120 days to color. These get about 10 inches high. Uh, these are for full sun or part shade. So, blue fescue. Alright friends, moving on to some echinacea purple cone flower. <clears throat> these need to be sown uh, a fourth of an inch deep. Now it says 365 days to bloom, so these will, if they come up and grow for me, they won't bloom this year, but they should bloom next year. Here are the seeds. I'm going to put about three or four seeds per sale. Go grab another seed tray. You never really know how many seeds they're going to put in these uh, burpee and fairy morse packs. So I do have enough to start another um, tray. All right now, depending on how these do, uh, these aren't the biggest cells, size cells. So if these do do pretty good. Um, I will probably have to pot them up before they're ready to go outside. I actually still have several seeds left in this pack. I'm not going to not going to start any more, so I'll put these back for a later time. But that was purple coneflower. Alright guys, so the last 
seeds I'm going to sow in this video with you are the salvia seeds. This is a perennial purple uh, salvia here. It says blue better, but um, it's really a purple. Now this is not like the Victoria salvia that I um, always plant out front with the marigolds. This is a perennial salvia. Alright, so quite a few seeds in that packet. I've got uh, 18 cells left back here in the back row, so I'm going to do, like I said, three or four per cell. Not sure how termination is going to go, so. I'm going to put the rest back in the package. And it says to uh, plant these a fourth of an inch deep as well. Uh, sow it open ground well exposed when soil is warm for early bloom start indoors. So who knows, we might start these early enough where we might see some blooms this year. Hopefully. So anyway, that was a blue better salvia. All right, friends. So here is the grow room, if you want to call it that. Uh, I've got the coneflower salvias and ornamental grass under this fairy morse grow grow light, and then the tray of columbine is down here under this GE grow light. So anyway, friends, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to follow along with my seed journey this year, and hopefully uh, a, a successful one, uh, please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.